our next presenter. Lucy, are you here with us? Hi, yes, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yes, perfect. Uh, so are you ready to start? I am. OK, so Trevor, please. Thank you. What do you think of when you hear the word cannabis? What does a cannabis user look like to you? Recently, you might have seen in the news a different sort of picture being painted. A young person who's smoking what they think is a harmless plant only to find themselves starting to hear and believe things that can't be real. Psychotic disorders like schizophrenia might only affect about 1% of the population, but they have such a profound effect on those who do suffer that scientists have made it a priority to find out what's causing these symptoms. And cannabis is often cited as one of the prime suspects. Now, most people who have used cannabis, which is about 30% of the UK, will never get a psychotic disorder. But what we do know is that people who have a psychotic disorder are more likely to be cannabis users than those who don't. The question is, what came first, the psychosis or the cannabis? Well, one of the best ways of trying to answer that question is by looking at what people do before they develop psychosis. About 1% of the general population will develop psychosis. 1% isn't a very big number to work with. So our research team went around interviewing people across the world who are at ultra high risk of developing psychosis. What ultra high risk means is that because of their family history or some minor symptoms that they turned before, we could estimate that about 20% of our study population would develop a psychotic disorder. And of the 344 people who we interviewed, 65 of them did. Now we want to look at what might have tipped them over the edge. So, were participants who had used cannabis more likely to get psychosis than those who hadn't? The short answer is no. And maybe that's our final answer. But it's just whether people had ever used cannabis. And after all, you wouldn't expect someone to get cancer after smoking just one or two cigarettes. So now we want to look at how much cannabis people were actually using, which is how often they were using it and what age did they start? Now, remember that young people's brains are still growing and changing, so it might be that those who start using cannabis very young might see more of an effect than someone who used the same amount but started when they were older. Another thing we need to think about is potency, like how whiskey has more alcohol than beer. Certain kinds of cannabis will have more of a substance called THC. It's THC that gets you high. Potentially, it's the THC that also makes you psychotic. Cannabis growers are breeding their plants stronger and stronger to keep up with market demand. And this might be putting people like our study population at greater risk. Around the world, laws around cannabis are changing. The best decisions we can make when it comes to cannabis are those that reduce the overall risk of harm. First, though, we have to understand where the harm really lies. Thank you.